Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria. Now, if you'll remember in the last episode, which was a couple days ago, because I had to... Well, I was doing my in-between episode thing where I was recording off-camera kind of thing, unofficial. And it just got so long because I found out all that cool stuff that I had to turn it into its own episode. So, if you remember what happened in the last episode, um... Nothing happened because it was an April Fool's joke. So, uh, April Fool's, and this is a real episode. So, I didn't actually find anything. There was no luckiness. There was no magical chest surrounded by frost torches. That was just a setup I did. In fact, I'm pretty sure the frost torches are still there. I went to the living tree and made a custom thumbnail. First time I've done a custom thumbnail in weeks. Um, okay, so when last we actually left off, we got all the way to the ocean and built the angler his house and then came back. So, I, I want to go to the other edge of the world. Because apart from that, the only thing I have left to do is mining. And I kind of don't want to do that. At least not on camera, anyway. So I'm going to spend these episodes doing more engaged things, like doing this journey to the edge of the world and all that. Um, and in the between episodes, I'm going to do all of my resource grinding, really. At this point, all I'm waiting on is just enough ore to get good armor. I've got decent weapons already, like, I just need good armor. At this point, the best armor I'm gonna get, the best armor I'm gonna get is platinum, but I don't think I'll ever, ow, okay, ow. I don't think I'll get full platinum armor, but I just need enough armor to be good enough at my job to beat the first boss, ow. Like, I've got a good weapon, I just need some armor. Because once I get to be able to beat the first boss, then I will have better gear. I'll be able to make better gear, I think. Um, or at the very least, I'll prove my worth and be able to move right on to the second boss and get better gear. Because they're both about the same ow difficulty. Ow. Ha! Take that! Revenge! I uh, dropped two gold, though, so I gotta head back there. <laughs> Yeah, I think after I get to the other edge of the world, that'll be my next step, to brave the corruption. I also want to build up some money. Speaking of money, I have an awful lot of that. So maybe I shouldn't be taking that all of the jungle biome. Where I'm probably gonna die. Because yeah, I've got two gold. What can I actually buy with two gold? Squirrel grappling hook it is. Let's put that in our grappling hook slot. Now, what's the hotkey for that again? It's like F, right? No. G? No, T is drop. Don't drop the ice blade. Uh, E. It's E. Yeah. So now I can grapple. I have a grappling hook, which will make moving around easier. Yeah, here we are. I, I, I have enough materials to craft the first boss summoning item, but I want better arm first. I at least want to swap out for iron greaves, if not, like, silver. I have 29 iron bars. I can craft those now, can't I? Like, what am I waiting for? Yeah, here we are. Was that tin? That's tin. I'm an idiot. Iron. There, now I have 12 defense instead of 9. Because I get 2, 3, 2, and 2 defense from the set bonus. Now, it does take, like, 60 or 70 bars to make um, a full set of armor. So I'm wondering if I want to grind out the silver set. Actually, I think in the morning, I'm going to just jump straight into the corruption. Because I want to smash my first shadow orb. Which, of course, means I'm going to need to bring some explosives. Oh, God. Poor Al. Oh, my God. What's with the falling stars? I'd say it was a meteor shower event, but it's like this, like, half the time. There's so many of them. Is it because they spawn with, like, the time? So when I sleep, they fall five times faster or something like that? I don't know. That seems like the most logical explanation, but... Oh, hello, sir. Get out. Goodbye. 
Now, one thing that is bothering me is they're still getting their less than three people around bonus, so they're not close enough to acknowledge their, the existence of each other, which is odd because they're close enough to consider it a town. It's like, I, I, I said that the happiness mechanic wasn't bad, but at times it can be kind of stupid because, like, they're close enough on screen for this to be a town, but they're not close enough for them to acknowledge the existence of their neighbors. So I'm going to have to move the houses closer to each other, which means I'm also not going to have a lot of room for big, impressive builds because, um, oh, I can make, like, four mana crystals. I'm not going to have a lot of room for a break impressive builds because I have to get their, their standing close to each other. Um, this chest is full. Which reminds me, at some point I also want to make a house for myself. Not today, though. Also, I have 70 iron ore. When did I get that? I don't, I don't remember getting that. And no, that was not during the episode that went up a couple days ago. Because that was an April Fool's prank. It was literally a half an hour of black screen. And no audio. Um, let's see, I've got a silver... What do I What do I need made out of iron? Nothing for now, so I'm just going to hold on to it. Uh, but I do want to put away... Let's just... The more chests I put down before I build my house, the harder it's going to be to move it all later, but I'm lazy, so I don't care. So I don't need both swords. I don't need all these mushrooms. I am completely out of... Not lesser healing potions, though. But I have plenty of these glowing mushrooms. Which means that I can make some... Not lesser healing potions. Only five, though. Okay, so I've got 21 bombs on me. That should be enough. Uh, let me just put away stuff I don't need. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, corruption time. I just need to smash one Shadow Orb, because that also gets me um, the ability to get Meteorites to fall. Which will be good for me, because Meteorite Gears is, is decent. It's better than Iron, I think. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember... I don't have any vivid memories of using Meteorite Gear much, but I think it's better than Iron, which would give me a helpful leg up. Now the question is... What's the best way to get to the bottom of these shafts without dying horribly? Uh, that's, that is not it. That is not what I was talking about. I wanted to not die horribly, thank you. Uh, I guess I don't really need to get back up, so I can just, like, lower myself down. So what am I talking about? I need to lower myself down. I've got a grappling hook now. I can go wherever the heck I want. Also, nobody talk about how I'm using ice torches in the corruption biome. Torch luck is no longer a thing. It's just too random normal dirt here. Okay, corruption altar. While I'm here, I might as well... I did not bring the lenses with me. Never mind. Um, let's see here. Let's just light up this area a little. Hi! Did not see you there. Uh, two shadow orbs are down there. God, I, I like the crimson better. Crimson's easier to navigate. Oh, now I'm using demon torches. Hi! Jeez. Don't just appear out of nowhere like that, man. It's not how this works. What? Oh, one of my graves ended up down here, apparently. Okay. Speaking of graves... Worm... Ha. Ah, it's a devourer. It's got 300 health, my god. But I can hit it multiple times because of my magical piercing broadsword. So it's effectively got less health. Which I guess is why it has so much health in the first place. Anyway, bomb! A 
again. That's not good. Okay, let's just from here. That's not where I want it to be. There we go. I probably should make these into sticky bombs, it would be easier. Okay. Now I get to break up to Oh, traveling merchants here. Uh, let me just whack this and go. Okay. Horrible chill goes down your spine. Okay. Hello, Shipton. Ooh, a stopwatch. It's five gold, though. Master gamer's pants and jacket. Bedazzled nectar. Someone's a pet butterfly. Heart hairpin. Vanity, vanity, vanity. The only thing I want is a stopwatch, and that's five gold. Uh, let's see, where did I put all my money? I should probably, at some point, buy the piggy bank from the merchant. That's the one good thing he's selling. Uh, I need to get three more gold to get this stopwatch. Uh, I'll sell this tin, because I don't need it. Uh, he can take the tombstone, even though it has no sell value. I don't need these worm teeth. I don't need this death weed. This all is worthless. Sell the shine potion. Uh, what else do I want to sell? I could sell some of these glowing mushrooms. They probably sell for a hefty portion of money. Oh, and that sword. I should sell all of my excess gear. I think I think it sells for stuff. 96 copper for the copper axe. Um, this sells for 9 silver. Great. Uh, 17 silver. God, I'm still not even up to 3 gold. I can sell this pickaxe, this bow. I don't think the wooden gear sells for anything. But I can sell the silk and the diamond. I don't uh, think that sells for as much as you'd think it'd sell for. Only, oh, 30 silver. That's actually a hefty amount. Uh... But this 5 silk sells for 10, this sells for 4, and this sells for 20 copper, so I guess the wooden gear does sell. Twenty-eight copper. Ah, this has no value. You can take it anyway. Uh twenty silver. God, I still need two more gold. What else can I what else, what other junk can I give him? These palm wood. Copper. I can sell him the peach. These potions I don't really care about. Uh, I can give him... This. 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 No value. This. Wow, the peach is expensive. Uh, I could sell them all these ice torches. Um, I get a full gold if I sell all my iron. Yeah, I'm gonna sell 20 iron. There. Some of my silver. There we are. Okay, I finally have enough. Uh, stopwatch. Probably not worth it. I don't need that equipped, but I'm going to equip it anyway because I have room. That displays how fast I'm moving. 19 miles per hour. Hooray. Okay. Um, building time. It's time to start building again. Because I have smashed the first shadow orb of this world. And that means that I have a musket now. Which means that there is room for a person to move in. Why am I getting this wood? I need the palm wood. Because this is the arms dealer. And the arms dealer goes into the desert. Also, these guys, are these guys happy enough to sell, sell their pylons? They're not happy enough to sell pylons. Which is um, I need to, like, tweak their happiness a little. I forget who likes who. I'll have to pull up the chart again, but I don't have any more NPCs. So there are a couple of areas that I'm now brave enough to go into. One of those being the underground desert, and I think that's where I'm going to go next. Okay, so apparently... All those vultures were not 
of a bug. Or the bug has been preserved. Because that's a lot of vultures. Also, okay. Um, I want to build these houses surprisingly close to each other. Uh, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Real t That's a workbench. God damn it. Never mind. Buy traveling merchant. Chair. Walls. Door. Three, four, five, six. Give you a palm wood lamp. Which should also protect you from the door opening inward. Which is good. And... Suitable. I don't really need my pickaxe and my axe and my hotbar, do I? Because smart cursor will take care of all that. So now what I want to do is... Uh... I want to make a house for myself. Okay. I still have those beams lying around, right? Yeah, wooden beams. I'll take these back walls too. Or do I want to make it out of stone? Now nah, I'll make it out of wood. Um, so I kind of want to go for a house on stilts vibe. Yeah, let's just take this entire little raised portion. Grapple up here. This is palm wood. I do not want to be using palm wood. So right about, like, here-ish, I want to go make something, let's see, where is it? I want to make a trapdoor, and here we are, heavy workbench, which I'm not going to put down for now. No, go away, I want the chest. Okay, arms dealer's here. Where the hell was my palm? it to make the bench and trap door, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna throw that here. Oh, it's too wide. I thought it was three wide. Here. And we're gonna go... Like this. So now I kind of have a ladder up to here. Now for the interior floors, I'm going to use wooden platforms, because... Because trapdoors are too expensive. Now, I need wooden walls. So what I want to do is I want to pick up all of these. I want to pick up this. I want to pick up this. And... I want to grab some wooden walls. And this first floor is going to be entirely storage. So I'm just going to throw that here. And now let's put up the walls. And I bet some of you guys thought 196 walls would have been enough for this. It gets pretty dark towards the center, but I don't think I care. Alright, alright. Let's start putting down this stuff. Oh, the furnace emits light. So let me just put that down there. And we're gonna go heavy workbench. Sawmill. Anvil. Then we're gonna throw my bed in the corner over here. Spawn point set. And... Yeah, that should be it. Now I just gotta dump everything into these chests. Oh, hey, the painter's here. Where's he living? Ow, oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> I wanted to make this not valid housing, but apparently it is. Okay, so the painter's gonna be living in my house for now. I wanna make him his house in a minute, but I gotta finish packing up first. Oh, it's storming. Apart from a catchy music track, this doesn't have much effect on my world. Okay, so this is like...
this is uh, double. So let's see here. Uh, golfer. I don't have the golfer. Uh, I don't have you, 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 or you, or any of you. Yeah, arms dealer, and nurse in the desert. I got that. Don't have any of you. Painter in the jungle. Oh right, the painter likes the jungle, doesn't he? Now the only problem with moving the painter to the jungle is that I'm not confident enough of my jungle survival skills to build him a house while simultaneously fending off the jungle. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to the jungle, and I'm go both gonna stop and build the painter a house there, and I'm going to um. Pass through it. Sorry, got a little distracted. So right now we're kind of just in, or in terms of progression. I'm just waiting for a meteorite to fall. Okay, I just checked. I cannot get meteorites in my world yet. I need to defeat the second boss first. The quote-unquote second boss. The bosses don't have an order. Not really. They have like a soft order, but no like order order. Like I'm, I'm when I say the first boss, I'm referring to the Eye of Cthulhu. But, apart from just me wanting to face that first, it's kind of not really any harder. I could probably face the Eater of Worlds, but not not, not this not this episode. Because I'm almost out of time and I want to do this first. Alright, here's the jungle biome. Now I want to um, grab this bamboo. Because that's what I want to make the house out of. I could just use the mahogany wood here, but I want to use the bamboo instead. God, this stuff here has so much health. Oh god, is it, go is it moving into a storm again? That that's the only explanation for why it's getting darker at 9am. Either that or it's winter. Ha ha ha. Far Northern Hemisphere joke right there. Oh right, promise. Ow. Now the real question is where I want to put the painter's house. Ow, I bounced off of a slime or something. Um, I think I want to put it like... Ow, god, leave me alone. Here, hold on. I want to I wanna peek at the map, but I don't want to die, so... circumstances I have more about. I kind of want to put his house like around here because it's close to this what looks like a good entrance to the underground jungle which probably means I'll put it up here three yeah I'll put it up there three of them what is what is with the spawn rates is there something I'm doing wrong like why why is there just a bunch of these guys now Like every every thirty seconds, there's a huge push of enemies or something like that. Um, yeah, I'll put it here. So let me just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bat. Also slimes. They still burn in the rain. 
Oh god, get away from me. Get away from me, all of you. I'm not looking where I'm going. God. What was I at? 10? I lost count. Ah! Bees! Lord! Jungle really wants me dead, huh? I forgot that could happen in expert mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'm at 10. Just gotta remember that. I'm at 10. Oh my god, there's just non-stop enemies. I'll be so happy when I get this house done. So let's throw down a bamboo workbench. Let's get a bamboo lamp. Uh, lamp, lamp, l lamp, bamboo chair. Hold on, I'm trying to manipulate the furniture here. Lamp, the, so the door can't open inward. Alright, and since it's kind of dark over in the corner, I'm also going to give him another lamp. Right here. There, now he's got the door protection. Hey, hey, you're in my way. Get out of the way. I'm channeling my artistic creativity here. Ow! Bat! Stay out of my house. I'd say maybe I should only travel during the day, but it's literally 4 p.m. Rain song. Playable instrument. Ow. What? Feral bite. Okay, I got a guitar. I think it's a guitar. I don't know what kind of instrument that is. You want me to- you want me to channel my- ah, I'm dead! I was spending too much time making a joke about not knowing what kind of musical instrument that is and not enough time to get my health. Oh my god, that slime straight up dropped 10 platinum board. Uh, piggy bounce. So this is sort of like a universal storage-y thing. Let's just throw it down here, and throw my money into it. Not the Fallen Star, thanks. Okay, speaking of money, I should be able to buy... Pile. Yay! Achievement! Okay, yeah, here we are. Desert Pylon, it's 7 gold, 90 silver. Um... I don't have the money for that, but I need- that's one of my two pylons that I need to start doing with a pylon network. Oh god, I'm slow. Why am I slow? Oh, because I've got the stupid feral bite. Okay, got my money back. Got the rest of my money back. Now I just gotta hope I don't die. Before I get a chance to deposit it. Here we are, out of the jungle, finally. Okay, maybe we'll hit the edge of the world. Maybe not, maybe we'll hit another goddamn corruption biome. Why are there so many of these in my world? Whatever. Hey, sweet, there's some chests here. Now, if only I had some peace and quiet to loot them. Oh, I'm dead. God damn it, now I gotta run all the way back there. I'm gonna loot those chests. I know we're kinda going over time, but I'm gonna loot those chests at least. Oh, there's a chest right here that I missed somehow. I think I got all my money back. Alright. Whole load of chest. 
Uh, blowpipe, iron bar, shurikens, recall potions, mining potions, bottles of wood. What are you doing up here? Alright, alright. Chest. Guide to plant bars. I don't even care about that money. Just want the second chest. Boomerang, recall potions. Bloody bloody blue. Get off of me. Should probably take at least one of these chests with me. Honestly, the rest of expert the, ex the rest of expert mode is fine. I just wish the enemy spawn rates weren't quite as high. Okay. Pretty sure this is the beach. Yeah, here we are, beach. Um So this beach is going to die very very clearly going to die. Oh my god. not bring any glow sticks with me. That suck. That sucks. Um... Hi, squid. Also, do I not have a single free inventory slot? Wow, okay. Can I make my own glow sticks? Screw you, Goblin Scout. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, excuse me. Um. Ah, 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 no, thank you. 